put a Snow White remake, which no one asked for. Half a billion dollars? That means this is the most expensive movie in history. You think the most expensive movie in history would be like this massive action movie like uh, Avengers or you know something like Avatar where it costs a lot of money to make. You know, I get. I think the most expensive movie was like Pirates of the Caribbean or like Endgame or one of the Star Wars movies or the newer Star Wars movies. But those movies make sense. You have like these epic space battles and stuff. And those movies are expected to make billions of dollars, but... There's no way we make costing half a billion dollars to make? There have been free resources for this film that said, working, working to fix thing. Work, fix the thing. Uh, why don't we just get rid of Rachel, Rachel Z gear? I just don't understand Disney's stupid ass choices here. Okay? They know the reason why people don't like the movie is because of Rachel Z gear. But they continue to stand by her. I just wonder who is the one making these terrible choices at Disney, okay? And this movie is coming out in a, cu- in, uh, a couple of months, uh, March, I think, of 2025. I just don't get why Disney just doesn't get rid of Rachel Ziegler and just re- de- get rid of her and t- recast her. I just don't get it, okay? You know, you know they cast these actors and actresses that people don't like, like. In 2019, you know, it was different because Disney was in the unstoppable year where Disney had the highest, all the 10 highest selling movies of the year. Okay, but absolutely, Disney, half a billion dollars for Snow White, well, actually we did. And yeah, basically that Disney is now working to fix the thing. And it brings the problems Disney's attempting to fix including the dwarfs. You know, we're marked to do what we'll do with Osanki Hedgehog, and of course the Minecraft movie. Second Paramount worked, went back and worked hard and redid the entire model. We did the entire film to make the character look like it does in the games. But we're not going to have much time to do that as there are seven models that need to be adjusted. Okay. Remember, they're going to try to adjust the color power to make it more lighthearted and more time friendly and deemed a little too dark. And basically, the budget was around $300 million, but basically you're now heading towards the force awakening the rise of Palpatine. As what I call in the kind of budget. We're looking nearly half a billion dollars according to the source here. The fact that they're spending half a billion dollars on this movie when basically all they could have dead was cast dwarf actors. Okay. That's all they could have done. Cast seven dwarf actors. You know. But instead, Disney doesn't care, you know, the depicting the doors as CGI creations. And Peter Dickowitz was appeared on the What the F, F- Mac Malone podcast back in 2022. Power class of Tina actress at Snow White. But you're telling the Snow White in the set of doors. Why are you going on the backward story of, you know, you know, he, you know, of course, he was upset the fact that they didn't actually catch actual dwarfs for the dwarfs because, you know, those, the dwarfs. Okay, and you're still making the backwards story about the river in the cave. What the f are you doing, man? Yeah, but yeah, it is so funny that the that you know no one likes this movie. No one likes this movie. Y- you know, you ha- you cast an a actress that no one likes. Okay, you act you you know it's like a Brie washing you know, and it's not 2019 anymore where you can get away of casting people like Brie Larson in your movies, okay? People don't like Brie Larson. People don't like Rachel Zegia, okay? It had, things have changed, okay? Yeah. That, you know, basically, the fact that, you know, instead of enforcing stereotypes from the original anime movie, that they don't want to, you know, put actual dwarfs in the movie, okay? That's just pretty funny. Okay? They don't want to put actual dwarves in movies and not offend people who are dwarves. But they are dwarves. The seven dwarves are like dwarf people. And again, Disney's going to lose a lot of money on this movie. I don't think this movie's going to make any money. Because no one likes Rachel Zegia. That's like how no one likes Brie Larson. No one likes, you know, Brie Larson. Because again, because of the comments. Because people are starting to pay attention more to this stuff. Okay. People are starting to pay attention to more of this stuff. And people are like, yeah, I don't care. And like, everywhere like... Everyone they said, okay, it would be different if like Rachel Zegia was the evil queen. That would make sense, okay. 
But they're making Gal Gadot the evil queen. It's like, why? Okay. It's like... And then people are saying, oh, the evil queen should not be Zara to Rage of Zegas works. Okay. We to, like... If you compare it to Gal Gadot, okay, it's just not comparable. But it does have to be ridiculous. Disney is on its road to be a failure. This movie is on its road to be a failure, 100%. There is no way this movie is going to make any money back at all. Goodbye.